Hey everyone, it's Amanda with Americana Gardens and today I am plant window shopping. Maybe I'll pick up something if I deem so, but um, I have been very sick. Uh, you can probably hear it in my voice, but um, I went to the doctors a few days ago and they prescribed me a medicine and here I ended up being allergic to the medicine. So today I went to um, the doctor again and got prescribed something different. So hopefully fingers crossed that that will um, solve my issue here. It's just like a really bad sinus infection. Oh, springtime does this to the best of us, right? Um, <clears throat> it's such a shame too because um, May 15th is my last frost date. So it's like it's we got the green light to plant and like I'm just hindered with sickness so yeah this week I'm not like going out in the garden pulling weeds or planting heavily or anything like that like I wanted to um, I'll just have to wait for another week but I will definitely do a garden tour this uh, by the end of this week again too so if that's something that interests you subscribe but to uh, give you guys some content and to fuel my inspiration and cure my boredom I I'm just gonna go to the uh, three box three big box stores Home Depot I'm right here Walmart is over there and then Lowe's is like half a mile down the road <laughs> so um, I'm gonna hit all those up and I'm going to be looking at indoor house plants and then I think I'll make another video for outdoor house or outdoor plants too We'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, so let's go shopping. Okay, so before I even go in the greenhouse, that's their greenhouse-ish type of place, there's this cart that's sitting outside in the garden center, and it looks like hopefully a new shipment because these look pretty pretty good. Uh, we got some philodendrons here, some calatheas. Yeah. Oh, look at these calatheas here. I like how they have the little hairs to them. It's a neat plant. And this one here, this actually has like, it's so fuzzy, it's so soft. I never, a plant, I never felt like so soft before. That's like definitely on my list to get. Uh, that's the Proven Winter Lines. They call it the Calathea Ruba Bar Barba Wave Star. Yeah, it's Nice sized monstera leaves. Those are not monsteras. What are those? I don't think they are anyway. Oh, and these lemon lime ones. I just got these a few, I got one a few days ago. And it's so bright. Oh, I hope that's dirt on that leaf. <clears throat> and look, they got the ficus. The leaves. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that pink to it. it looks so tropical. Yeah, so it looks like we got some Birkins up here, ferns. Oh, and we have another one of the philodendron of Florida green. I think, wait. Are these the only ones that they have? Those that's a pretty those are pretty leaves. No, I think this is actually a cart that they're getting rid of. I hope not. Oh, what is this lovely plant? The lily pads. The lily pad ficus umbrella. Whoa, see I thought the leaves looked different. That's kinda neat. Let me pull this out. <clears throat> oh, that's neat. That's a neat plant. I like that. Cool. Yeah, so I guess these are new. Oh, and here's another. Wait, do they only got one of these? No, they got two of them. Three of them. I really kind of want to get one of these. I love, I've been like a sucker for their plant shape for a while. Yeah. 
so cool. Florida green. <clears throat> I guess they just didn't get a chance to put them out yet. Well, there's some coleus. You know, you guys could use these as house plants too. Lots of different colors. Five bucks, that's not bad. All right, let's go in. Check out what they got. They're sucky, that's really sold, huh? I'm not terribly interested in succulents and cacti right now. Here's another proven winner, Leaf Joy. It seems like, ah, uh, here's a Cuculata alocasia. Isn't that such a pretty plant? Oh, and this one here, the Regal Shield. Wow. Nice. I love how it just like stays up like that with the bottom, with the veining on the bottom like that. That's cool. Yeah, here, this is a smaller version of the Calathea that like, ah, oh, that sheen to it and everything. I really love this plant. It's so pretty. The sheen to it. The texture, the ripples. Yeah, Calathea, so pretty. I'm doing okay with the Calatheas. I did kill one, but I'm doing okay. Got some Alocasia polys back there. Some monsters. Oh. That's Sonia's, and there's some ficus back there. Tucked in, and more Calathea. And then down below, oh look, look at that snakey. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, that large size one, beautiful plant. The larger size pots are usually 30 bucks. Smaller ones like in here, 20. Even the glass ones are 20 bucks. Let's see if they got anything over here. New in the other plant section. Oh, look at this rainbow fern. This rainbow fern is like so beautiful. You, the camera isn't picking up the colors very well, but it's a really stunning plant. I think I might try my luck with moss again. All right, some palms, philodendrons, some like pothos, some goniums. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I might actually just do like a text over these corn plants here. The Stefanbach, I mean, it's seen better days, but it's such a nice, bright pop of plant. They're like really like geared up for outdoor stuff, just because it's planting season, so they don't seem like they have a whole lot for indoor right now. Some philodendrons. Yeah, these Birkins look so pretty. Look at that shine on that leaf. So pretty. Um, this is another sting. This is a stingray, alocasia. Seen better days. Really need some water. Ooh, that looks bad. Southwest. And the last, the gorgeous begonias. 
This place always is like stocked with begonias. I don't know if they sell them or what, but those are beautiful. Another philodendron. That's looking good. Oh, well, that's a neat plant with that variegation on it. It's by Vigoro. It doesn't tell me what it is. Oh, and here he has some like really cute smaller plants. See, it's like more budget friendly. And there's that little pepperoni. It looks like a brain. Reminds me of brain texture. Ah, Tradescantia. Lemon lime. Lots of climbing path those these are really cute though these little begonias they grow like crazy and look at hold on, and look at this syngonium that's a beautiful beautiful color beautiful I'm tempted to get that one put it outside these look like they're left over from Mother's Day and they also seem better days Now this place is a freaking mess. Okay, so Home Depot um, is really killing it with the Proven Winners line that they have started to carry this year. At least in my area, they started to carry it this in this year. Um, and I think that's the way it is everywhere, uh, at least in the U.S. Anyway, I'm at my second store, which is Lowe's. Can you kind of see it in the back there? Uh, through my pollen-filled window shield <laughs> so yeah my voice is pretty bad so um i think i'm just definitely going to do like some text over videos and we'll see how that goes but let's go check out some indoor plants at the blue store aka lowe's all right guys i'm at lowe's let's see what they got here oh this is a nice i might I knew this right away, this Pothos Mykins. Ooh, let's see. There we go, there we go. Nice color right there. That's a nice full plant. The pot isn't bad either. I think these go for like 20 bucks or something along those lines. 27, ooh, that's a little steep, but beautiful, beautiful vining plant. I have two of these on my one um, in the living room all where my rest of my plants are. And they're doing wonderful. Hey, Andy, how are you? Uh, <laughs> All right, down below here we have these little statues. These are kind of really, they're not tacky, they're kind of cute. I like the woman better than the man. But, yeah, they're, they have like some substance to them too. Okay, so, and yeah, we got some skindapsis here. I love these pots, these pots are so cool. Uh, these are kind of cute with the dog, the Mrs. and the Mr. I take it. Oh, and there's a third, like, version. Interesting. Alright, live trends. These are kind of neat. Those are so cool. They're so simple. With the little wooden piece and the air plant. So cool. And then this here. Just down below, look at this. Uh, Calathea here. This is gorgeous. I like I like the pot too. I'm just gonna take it out of the pot because it's easier to lift up. But that's a gorgeous Calathea. Wow. The green and the yellow is definitely much more vibrant in person. Cute little begonias. Oh, uh, these waffle plants, they're so adorable. I'm gonna get some for my my little pond. They're like all bubbly and neat. Like the texture is so cool. Oh, this is a beautiful syngonium. I'm gonna put it back here where it belongs. Actually, I'm gonna help the store out a little bit. <laughs> Aw. Those are really pretty.
Not a whole lot on clearance. Womp womp womp. Just some rabbit foot fern. Maybe one of these if you wanted the pot. These are kind of nifty. I would probably take these though. The orchids. How much are they? Ten bucks. Oh, so they will come down to four according to the thing. Yeah, that's not terrible. More orchids. There's a ZZ plant that looks half decent. Let's see. Is this on clearance? I mean, it's on the clearance rack, but it's not marked, so, and it looks kind of healthy, so it's probably not on clearance. Just somebody probably put it there. Lots of palms. I don't want palms. I don't miss palms. I used to work in the store, so this is my old stomping grounds. I had fun, for the most part. I had a good crew. Now the crew isn't here. It's different. But they're, they looks pretty nice, though. But they got so many of these strawberry begonias here with the flowers. Those are so cool. Yeah, look at that. These are kind of neat. The pots. Some Wiccan grows. There's lots, lots of those black gnats around. It's that time of year. Monstera. So I know people have been getting like pink print or stores have been getting like pink prints this in. I don't see any here. Oh, this is a moonlight skindapsis, is it? Yeah. Oh, look at that coloring. Very pretty. That is very pretty. That is really pretty actually. Wow. This asparagus fern seen better days. I like the pot. The pot is so cute. 15 bucks, so it would be half off. That's like a light lavender color. That is so cute. Calatheas. Uh, more scandapsis here. Yeah, I like how they have these little wick and grow pots where you could just pour the water in right there. The larger ones don't have that yet. They might change that design. So, and just over behind me here, oh, we got some lovely little succulent planters. I guess these were left over from Mom's Day. Yeah, some rabbit foot ferns. Some of these, oh look, these are only 10 bucks. I like the pot. Rabbit foot ferns. Some aglonema. Yeah, here's the ZZ Raven. Tell me that's not gorgeous. One thing I like about Lowe's is they don't have background music on, so I can't get copyright strikes. Oh, look at these bird nest ferns with that dark maroon scent, um, veining in the center and the ripply leaves. I had one and I killed it. Uh, isn't this the most gorgeous blue silver aglonema you've seen? So pretty. These are so pretty. I love these asparagus ferns. They're so different. Yeah, these are supposed to be for outdoors, I guess, but they're keeping them inside, which is fine because you can use them for in indoor plants. Succulent and cacti racks. I love this. I love this little bird's 
cage thingy. 25 bucks it says on the tag. It, and it comes with a pot already that's like perfectly fed in there. Oh my gosh, I love this. I would get that if it was on clearance. Oh. This is a nice planter succulent thingy. Cool. Oh, these are so special. They can't, they remind me of like old fashioned design. This reminds me of like a South America, particularly Mexico design. These are kind of cool too. I like that design. Look, I'm like more into the pots right now than I am the actual plants. Oh, look at this kind of Chloe blooming its head off. What? That is so gorgeous. Oh, I just want to take you home. Oh, these are going to pop. Look at these guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the succulents. I love that bluish color. And there's like some water in there. Isn't that so pretty? With the water. I don't know, something about it. These are really great for um, home weapons. Okay? Throw a cactus at a sucker. Trust me, they'll run. Uh-oh. Somebody stole something here. Yeah, look at that. They just cut it open and grabbed it. I'll leave this where somebody will find it. Not hidden. I'll leave it right there. They'll, um, they'll see it. A store manager will see it. Okay, so Lowe's was good. Um, they had a, an okay selection of house plants. I really like their pots that they got. Most of them were from uh, Life Trends, uh, that line in specific, uh, particular. But um, I'm at my third stop, mm, Walmart, which y'all cannot see the sign. Sorry. Um, but yeah, check this out, right? I got the first parking spot. Yeah! Uh, so, there's two cars beside me. Uh, they're the handicap, but I'm in the first parking spot that I can park in. I never get that close. Never. Okay, so, um, let me go inside and I'll show you guys what they have. Hopefully they have some cool plants. I'm sure they will. Okay. Inside Walmart. So can you see? You could just throw the pot at it like in a home intruder or something. Tell me that wouldn't hurt. Oh, these shingle plants. Mine is doing so well. I love it. It's so neat. It's such a great vining plant. Yeah. I've seen better days. Do, 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 do. I've seen better days. Oh, there's a Hoya. Okay. I don't know what kind of Hoya it is. Oh look, it must be variegation. Ha ha ha, I'm joking. Here's this plant I saw, was it at Home Depot? Yeah, 
I didn't know the name of it. Still no name. No name. <sighs> How annoying. Stefan Bach is gorgeous. Oh, I love that white veining or cream veining, however you want to market it. <laughs> I hit the jackpot. That's dead. Wow, oh, look at these babies. Mm. I love these. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm actually um, came inside the store to check out what they have for like indoor uh, pots and things like that because uh, the selection of plants were was pretty limited. But there was two boxes there that she was unpacking, so I just might come back like later this week and check it out. I'm like hoping for like you know pink princesses and like some really cool stuff. Like my store is. Are not getting that find like pots and things like that at a relatively okay price <coughs> I am definitely losing my voice look at these oh 924 that is so cool can I get it out That's really cute. I really like these. I like the gray color. Too bad it's not a little bit deeper, but it's still a pretty pot. I really like that. They have these like gnarly hanging pots. I'd say what, they are heavy. So I would personally use them for like outdoor stuff, not necessarily indoor, because they're just so heavy. You hear that? Bang. I didn't mean to do that on purpose. Oh, look at this. I got those pots. Those are nice. I think it's more like wintery Christmas-like. That's pretty. I like the geometric shapes. And you have like this one. I feel like this is a classic pattern. They just change the colors every once in a while. Like, I love these things right here, guys. I absolutely love these. Um, I think it would be great to put orchids in them outside, like hanging under a tree. But like, I just can't bring myself to buy that for 35 bucks. Plus, I'm not even going to use it with the candle. You know, it's just going to be like one of these things here. But I think I'm going to do that soon. Once I'm better, 
I'm back to work and stuff. The only reason I'm actually out is because um, I had my doctor's appointment and I did an in-person one, not like a virtual one like I did last time, just because I had that like reaction to the medicine, but also uh, to pick up my new medication. So I'm like, well, since I'm out, I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna try and make myself feel better. And plus I wanted to make some content too. So here I am. We're plant junkies. Oh, these are so cool, these beaker props. I think I could probably go to thrift stores and find like actual like high school chemistry beaker sets and probably get them. But like these are cute. These are cute right here. I really like those. I like this idea too as like a planter, a plant table hanging thingy. But like I would totally flip that over. That's what I would be afraid of. I love these hanging terrariums though. Yeah, these are so cool. I really need to get into them more. I would love to hang these up around. Yeah, ah, oh, future, future plans there. Oh my gosh, there's this terrarium here. 17, 18 bucks. It's so like 20 bucks for this big terrarium. Honestly, like I feel like I could just go into like the baking aisle and get like a cookie jar, clear cookie jar. Because I can't bring myself. Am I, am I just being super cheap? Or no, I'm not being cheap. I'm just being like cost conscious. Is that a new way of saying cheap? <laughs> oh well. All right, y'all. So I stopped at my three stores and um, found some cool finds. Excited to like what comes next. I will be doing um, an outdoor garden tour later this week hit subscribe if that's something you want to see also like my irises are in bloom they're gorgeous 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 um anyway i will also come back to these stores and do like the outdoor flowers that they have they have some really cool stuff um it's just today i wasn't going to do both indoor and outdoor plants because of my voice anyway i'll catch you guys next time bye the blooms here so cute.